tonight on Poker After Dark. Why don't you tell the story? Oh, you hit a nerve. Phil Hellmuth is in his wheelhouse for a classic sit and go. You want me to tell you I think you're better than Phil Ivey or something? What? Daniel Negreanu plays the foil. Promoting yourself. There. Okay, heights and weights, guys. Heights and weights. And, <laughs> and Maria Ho plays them all like a fiddle. <laughs> Nick, how do you feel about your seat right now? I love it. You may have grown accustomed to hearing that music and thinking it's time for some cash game poker. But tonight, we hearken back to the old days of Poker After Dark. Inside the Poker After Dark suite, yours truly, Alina Jad, alongside Veronica Brill with the interviews for an old school sit and go. $10,000 ahead and just got a glimpse of some of the competitors familiar to you for the most part, and we'll go through them in a moment. 15 minute level, so it's on the turbo side of the spectrum, but instead of winner take all, like it used to be, we'll pay the top two places. In seat one, the man who coined, it's time, UFC ring announcer, Bruce Buffer, followed by DFS and NFT analyst, investor Peter Jennings in the two hole. And you see Phil Helmuth, Needs no introduction, 15-time World Series of Poker bracelet winner. Nick Wright, Fox Sports 1 commentator. Daniel Negreanu, a legend unto his own right. Skipped over Maria Ho, multi-talented poker analyst. and Cheers, host, everyone. Good luck. Host, Absolutely. as well as a Cheers formidable today. player on Careful. the felt. And last but by <laughs> no means least, John Aguiar. What they won't know when heard him who is the Senior Advisor of High Stakes Gaming at DraftKings. Just like online. Wow. <laughs> John will be happy to know yours truly has completely undiversified his portfolio into an all-in on DraftKings play as of a few weeks ago. Any insider information will be appreciated. Seems just like online. Last time I got second against Letterer, but I took a little 10,000 per second. On a less felonious a note, I'm fine with winner take Maria Ho. Maybe a misdemeanor with the 9-5 offsuit. Mandatory. Defending. Okay. And Jennings Perfect. On one hand. flopping the <laughs> open ender and taking it down. If the name is familiar to you, you're probably in the DFS streets. And DFS stands for Daily mm -hmm. Fantasy sold, sold, uh, Sports. He is a two-time world like champion to my left is you. in he that did. space. Really? He did say that on the I said I just Prized by it. that. Yeah. So One million dollars in the first ever DraftKings Live event around in the Bahamas back in 2012. Face. Now serves as an analyst <laughs> for DraftKings <laughs> and ESPN <laughs> in the DFS space. Canceled. <laughs> Canceled for giving compliments. <laughs> compliments you didn't are say no longer anything allowed. Anything about my beautiful face? Uh, right. Yeah, we're, it's a long day, Daniel. We got time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get around to everybody. Compliments for everyone. What, what is it? Five five. 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 Peter is the co-founder I mean, um, of Lucky Trader, yeah. an analytics platform dealing with NFTs, those being non-fungible tokens. Da, 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 and you'll get slayed on Twitter. A place where money seemingly Daniel grows like nice weeds. Either. We, also the co-founder of nice Fantasy me, Labs, nice a company focused everybody. on daily fantasy sports okay. media, okay. analytics, Equally. and tools. Got it? <laughs> the way I hear yeah. you guys have been going at it, I'm surprised you're so nice to each other. <laughs> one of us is nice to the other one, I can tell you. He called me a, I think it was a f I never attacked him outside of <laughs> our He just called though. me a f***ing idiot. Jesus. I'm going to check. Helmuth and Negranu coming off of their round one high stakes duel match where Daniel had him. That's close to fighting words. Down to dust. <laughs> Crumbs, in fact. I know, I know. And Helmuth managed to come back as as sells tickets, right? and yeah. win round check. one. There were some contentious Everybody exchanges heading into it. Meanwhile, Helmuth finds himself heads up yeah, with Ace Queen, which is guy, still maybe best maybe here, though in precarious shape against Nick Wright's like nut flush well, draw. The Ben Askren bet and uh, Jake Paul, if that wasn't the most obvious bet in the world, and I love Ben, don't get me wrong, but he's not a boxer. You know. 8,000. I mean, neither is Jake Paul, but. Dude, there might be, I mean, the way the McGregor line closed, I mean, I'd bet the house on Mayweather minus like 5,000 or something. I mean, I don't, what do you think the line is? on your face. It's like you're laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so not laughing at you. Not that that matters, yeah. but it's ridiculous. Here, show my hands. 
Helmuth nice shot, chose to flat pre out of the big, Just check called the, the 2K, and then gets away from it for 8,000. Yeah. Oh, it's great. I, I, I was like, one of the amateurs she showed him like worse hand, Nick. Jack, so could have I set him off boxing, hand, too. No, too. no, not set me off. It's I wouldn't be surprised. Of course. It's like, it's like celebrity boxing. Firing That's twice with ace-jack would have been right there, though, right? Because it would have got you to fold ace-queen. Father of three, wife holding down the fort with the three kids right now. Well, Got the Midwestern roots on him, does Nick? I don't but know, what, what people certainly more right outspoken than I think minute. the average I Midwestern is a personality. Disaster later. Yeah, once I start seeing you fire with Ace Jack, I'll be trapping you with I got you. all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. All I day, man. All day. You get queens all day. Negranu, stop! <laughs> Wait for all your own. Day. Wait for your own after queens all day. Are you going right? to play a hundred hands? He's going to get queens all day. <laughs> I mean, all day, Queens. You know, I, I know. I just you be happy to words. get like nine eight the politician. And this guy's got queens. The politician is in the studio. <laughs> just said, I'm going to trap you with Queens all, all day. day. And yeah. I'm going to have a. I'm going to trap all those <laughs> times. And he's so, going to have a trap <laughs> when you have the Queens. And an ace isn't going to flop. And you're going to stack him. <laughs> Last time we played in the studio, Maria, you uh, got a little jiggy against me. Cool. <laughs> I Maybe I can trap you. I'm trappable for sure. I'm going to check. 100% you are. Ooh. King 10 turns into bottom Check. two on a Maybe sopping wet board. Check. And Maria I will. pumps the brakes with her ace. That allows a nine to roll off, which connects with Nick Wright's holding. And a second round of checks means it's time Seven. to bet. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. Got her on the mount. <laughs> you did. He Trapper did. Phil. Like, I would have hated myself for it's not betting twice. the turn, but now I kind of hate myself a little more <laughs> because you check raised me. But I'm actually going to call. Oh, oh my yes. God. Ooh, here we Please go. give us the a deuce speech in the call. so I can bet 6,500. What will you pay off? A deuce? A lot. That's not a deuce. That's not a deuce. King's full will be reassuring. Uh, I guess I'll bet 8,500. 8,500. Sub half pot river bet here. Feels a little milky. Maria now playing a 10 kicker. Okay. You fold the king, Maria? Good fold. <laughs> <laughs> actually, good fold. <laughs> no, I think he flopped it. A king was a good fold, actually. That's what so, I said. So if you folded an yeah, ace, well done. No payoff. Do you feel a little dead inside? A little, slightly. Just, a king was no good. You lost 10% of your <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. I was always going to fold the river, but I, I don't just wanted to wait long enough to hear you say, like, I'll Got win her. this one, you win the next one, because you <laughs> Listen, do that last, a lot. But. People, people think I'm being mean to Maria. That he I love Maria. Well, I love Maria. But the last time we filmed, she just bet that she smashed me, and I'm like, ran just over you. give me more time <laughs> to trap her. Yeah. yeah. Just give me more time. Crazy? No, I she will never game. slow down. You would know better. Yeah. King Queen is a fold. Future game, but <laughs> it would have been King better if it happened in the 100, it 200 we filmed. It's actually against him. ABC. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, when Chamath Not, oh, set come over on. <laughs> that I'm pretty cold. sure Phil uses cold. his right hand to check his cards. Okay. So there's are there going to be a barbecue sauce stain on his thigh. I mean, we are talking about a man who folded down to like 2.3 big blinds in the WPT. Oh, he's gone to the left. Who? You. You did that. Hey, 2.8. Oh. It was it was below three. COVID era can thumb I, suck. Can I give you the sauce you know, there saying, feels slightly hazardous. Things. Sure. <clears throat> um, Look, I think you're you're not allowed to compliment me in front of the ground new because any compliment to me, he's gonna like. Oh, I like. I'm looking forward know. to this one. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming. And Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. Welcome back to Poker After Dark, where Phil Helmuth has taken a break from berating Daniel and Maria in order to inhale a chicken, bacon, and avocado burger, as well as a few of his own fingers. There's a tweet from Phil just recently. His buddies from the tech world, Chamath Paliapatia and Jason Calacanis. Played on Poker After Dark with him and famously came up with the win the min mantra. Eating whatever Phil was eating with my hands. Phil was playing what that would be excruciatingly tight. That is a chicken, a lettuce chicken 
wrap the lettuce wrap. I'm on back on keto. You're on keto, Phil? Well, it's no more Sour Patch Kids, nothing? I'll be off keto for our match. Yeah, I was going to say, how long, how long <laughs> are you going to on the keto short. diet? I, I have to have candy. What, what's you couldn't pay me enough money to do that diet for more than two weeks. What's the distinction between it's not keto and Stupid. Atkins? What's the, match, Bill? Huh? what's the distinction between keto and Atkins? You guys you remember that? the old Atkins Basically, thing? Basically, it's repackaged. Like, it's all right, it's the same manipulating thing. the amount of carbs that you can have, and okay. then you go all the way to carnivore and just never, and then <laughs> diarrhea for like a month. <laughs> and then, and then your body starts taking vitals from other areas of your body. You're not getting full nutrition. I will bet. You'll, you'll lose weight. 1,500. Ace Queen is pipped. By two deuces here as Helmut and Negranu in their first face-off. 1,500 ahead pre and post-flop. Now Helmuth binks the ace. And 3,500 in the dark. Fired 2,000 on the turn and then a dark 35 on the river. Not calling. That's good. That's for sure. Now threatening to potentially raise. Definitely not calling. But folding. There were some cards I would have done that with, but no. Nah. So are you vegan? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. I knew you had been. I didn't know if you. Now I didn't oh, spot yeah, a yeah. napkin years at now. any point. Good for you. So unless that bottle is really absorbent, I'm still trying to figure out. Oh, I need a product placement shot. Where we shed the ground. You. Hmm? Which promote, product? promote, promote. Brain Finger peel sauce. Right now. How much are they paying you? I, I generally, I own pieces of... <laughs> Way too much. Uh, Daniel, in the background, Phil doesn't know what he's talking about. No, it's exactly 31 to 13, Daniel. MC, MC No, I didn't Phil. say you know what you were talking about. I said you're off tune. Oh, well, right? that's... All cool. I do is win, all I do is win, all I do is win. That's not how it goes. I'll give you that. All I like... do is win, 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 no, no matter, matter what. what. <laughs> you, and you go, all I do is win, all I do is win, all I do is win. Up, up, <laughs> up, and they stay there, and they stay there. Up, down, up, down. You go with the Frank Sinatra rap style. I want to hear it. <laughs> oh, I want to hear that style. Come on. Rolling down the street, talking <laughs> about uh, sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> Laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> and doing it. That's what happens when Helmuth raps. And doing so, it. He fills so. way. <laughs> That's going to make I a blooper did it. show. Yeah, I was going to say. My way. <laughs> If you don't think that's going on the show, then. Oh, it's in there. 1,000. I like watching Daniel do Phil rapping Sinatra style, like his yeah. mix. A couple of players have middle pair on the 954 board. All right. Heads up. It was a limp pot pre, four ways. Now the nine pair is on the Rolling turn. Advantage the right with the kicker. Angle. Sipping on gin and juice. Yes. Laid back. Like poetry. With my mind He's on got my it. money and my money on my mind. <laughs> and a disciplined lay down there That's on the turn. Oh, I, I have a funny feeling you're right. From Buffer. It was a rough outing for Nick Wright in his first ever Poker After Dark appearance in Cash Game Streets. I know. I like yesterday. That's what I was looking at. He was sitting right where really staring into my soul. Yeah. Yesterday, Ellie was in two places at once. Perhaps helping him feel better about things. Cash Game yesterday. Is that what you were saying? Yeah. This tweet from April 13th. High praise from the legend himself, Doyle Brunson. Everyone bought in for 20. Saying Nick has the best opinion of every day. any sports announcer. They do it for like a week stretch at a time every like yeah, couple months right now. Okay. Every month or two. Oh, it's one, one, one. It just went up okay. last hand. Excellent. Call. Nine Jennings mm -hmm. with the suited connector. Mm -hmm. Vied for a table for two against Buffer, who limped with the inferior hearts, but Maria with the ace queen now well, seeking three scoops. The other day. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, Ali. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Phil and I had a little post-mortem after his last right. match in Back reference to, to some spots where he folded <laughs> a couple of eights, but a different situation altogether. A little lesson in poker. 
I won't begrudge him for getting out of there for a double. Meanwhile, 10-9 turns into a double gutter. Ace high, still best. Nice beat there, Daniel. Got some. Got some skills. I was getting ready to start rapping. <laughs> oh, boy. Frank Sinatra and, uh, I don't know. What you got? Let's hear it. I have to figure something out. 9,000. I don't know. <laughs> I, I actually yeah. wouldn't mind doing a rap song. That'd be fun. Way up. I feel blessed. <laughs> Way up. See? Is that not a Frank Sinatra right. style? It was like I just I don't know. I got to sit back. Really good and Way up. Yeah. Yeah. 9K C bet from okay, Maria gets called word. by Peter. Now two Mama clubs on the board along with two out. kings. <laughs> Mama did say I should knock you out. <laughs> I'm going to knock you out. Mama said knock you out. <laughs> I know he's got that. A check back from Maria in the ace. Pops you didn't up. Think we'd pop, we'd pop like this, you right? you? She happily like, checks back I get into? with the third so diamond out there. I didn't think, I mean, I didn't think I'd be. Ten. I thought I'd be sitting between. Created some problems for her as well. You know, the two queen. players. Pushing the queen. A hundred times uh, better than me. I didn't think I'd be pot. sitting between a singing competition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like nice hand. And an extra right. tilting. So you're Should a, Phil go on Mass Singer? That would be. Oh boy! I had a Phil's top ten hand. I folded. Phil, you should go on the Mass Singer. Yeah, that's what I think, right? Yeah, one of those kind of. I thought it was. I don't not, know. I I'm feel like I saw a lot of people all of a sudden boy traveling fold to for, for under sure. I don't know where, actually, lines, actually I take a visa back. He back has, he has to X bet it all in. He has to find, find a way to put the last bet in with twos. <laughs> and you're, oh, you know that. Okay. Lines up. <laughs> yeah, I just folded eights. Funny, I folded eights against Maria already, already, so. Tonight? I'm an ace-king backboard? Yeah, when I three bet Pete. No, before the fight. Raise 5, 500. I, I think you I think eights, about though? poker differently. Yeah. The raise, re-raise hand. He had eights. He'd have been winning on the flop. flop. I had ten nine suited that hand. No, no. Oh, you've had a good Came flop. Came king jack four. It was four, a great right? flop, and then the worst yeah. turn, and then yeah. I'm like, oh, she has an ace, and then an ace on the river. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Ace king ten. You were just getting ready to bluff the river, and yeah. the ace came, yeah. and you're yeah. like, king, ah. queen. No, she has an ace. Lost draw. Aguiar flops bottom set against Wright's top pair. Everyone thinks I'm super the all diamond texture would be a savior for Nate. <laughs> he checks back now the fourth diamond. I do miss Tiger off. Pam. I normally see you guys. Could slow John down. Yeah. It'll be back next year. <coughs> we're talking about it, hopefully. Indeed. I miss those nice poker stars trips to Barcelona and Bahamas. They do a nice job when they do those things. Still no post-flop betting. Total brick on the river. Are you guys playing live poker a lot here in Vegas? Are you going I've to been casinos? Home, I've been all? home for a year. I didn't yeah. do that. Yeah, again, it's my first live game in over a year. Yeah. yeah. I've been filming a lot. <laughs> I think I, I think I played uh, uh, once live <laughs> this trip, and then once way back in July. So this is like so your like third live. What well, you're playing? No, I film all the time. So that's yeah, different. Right. We te we test first. And we play we play live games in the Bay Area too, but everybody you know, like you, know, you get these tests, right? Hey, my, all my friends. Ninety guys, seconds. You'll you'll know the result in ninety seconds. Rapid rapid test. Yeah, the rapid, the rapid test. test is only good, they say, if you're in day two or day seven of COVID. So there's still the Aguiar fired fifteen hundred on the end. And Nick Wright stands up, makes it eighty five hundred. And then somebody the best hand goes into the month. You might not expect an amateur like Wright to know when to turn top pair into a bluff. This kid's got some tricks up his sleeve. We'll be right back. Just before the break, Nick Wright showed off some non-amateur moves, putting in a nice river bluff that got pro Jonathan Aguiar off a set of nines. Now back to the action. Here's what pisses me off. Uh, I played against, uh, all I did is play against the greatest players all through the 80s and 90s because there's the only people that played the tournaments. But everybody yeah, was right? bad back then. Except well, that's so not you're still, Everybody was the best fair. player. Okay, so the why don't you tell the story, and then when you're done, I'll, I'll tell my story. Oh, you hit a nerve. <laughs> don't interrupt me. Let me get my spiel in, or, or, or don't I like I don't want to I don't want to play. Nerves. I don't want to play, uh, play the debate game where I just get cut off with bull Daniel does that to me all the time. I don't Daniel hasn't said anything. He didn't do anything. Daniel's but go ahead. At that. But let me. But let's hear it. Go I ahead. Have, I have to. I have to silence. Guilty before, before you I do start. it, right? You know how many times he's done this? He says, "Don't say anything. Let me finish, and then you can talk." Then he's. He, I don't say a word. Right. Right. <laughs> then I go. Okay. So Phil, here's the thing. Within one. Within three seconds, he goes. Blah 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 yeah. blah. <laughs> yeah, but then you call me out, and I shut up. Well. 
I mean, it, you, a guy can be wrong, but admit he's wrong. Like, that's important in life. You know? There's a lot of people in poker that don't admit they're wrong. My whole goal was to not play Maria. No, that's yeah, your line. That's my Did you guys line. ever see the movie Step Brothers? And Phil, to win tournaments, you have to play a bunch of great players, of course. But so like, this is what pissed me off. That. Let me, let me yeah, respond, sure. and let's see if nobody interrupts me. Maybe Sorry, I'll stop. finish. All through the 90s, I played against the greatest players. They all played in the tournaments. I beat them all. Same thing in the 80s, right? And then all of a sudden, they developed this narrative that I'm not good against good players. So the very field that has all of the great young players are the turbos. And in the last four turbos, I have a first, uh, a sixth, a fifth, three final tables, some crazy amount, three final tables in five years. And this is the one where I'm not supposed to compete because of all the GTO guys, it's all math because the blinds go up so quickly. So it's f***ing aggravating for me. You know, not to hear, aggravating to hear as a jack on the you know, turn I, for me. I thought that the greatest poker player of all time was the one who was going to win the most bracelets. That's what I set out to do. I did that. And now all of a sudden, oh, wait, you're not the greatest of all time. Uh, you know, and so if people come and say, Phil, you're not the greatest today, um, I want a chance to prove I am, but I can't, I can't say that I'm better than a lot of the a lot of the people because that's not fair to them. Not because they study, uh, but because there's a lot of talented uh, players out there. Maria, right? that also study. Bets 22,500 yeah, on the know, river with backdoor speeds what, like coming if you in. Study, if, you, if you study bad math, do you become better at math? But how do you know it's bad if you've never studied it? That's not my question to you. You want to say yes or no to the well, question? When you, when you define something as bad math, okay? I mean, I turn I'm, the I'm, nuts, I'm, Maria. I'm to assume. I'm actually having fun with you. I know. Right. But that's kind of like a really, I just know 57% is wrong. Let me ask you a question, Daniel. This, this I think, and work with me. We, we can have a discussion together without being like, you know. Wow. Something around. good comes from playing. Interrupt so this is that the question. debate if, to if, bring if, you I'm a gonna Nick right fold with the winner. He said, why so much? The table is tilted towards her. No, Maria I, raised the cutoff to 6,000. He flatted the small. Both I, players I checked the jack high board. He made the nuts the on the turn. Let me ask His 5K got called, and then the massive bet of 22.5. After Poker Wright checked it, I don't think that's true. Sends his king <laughs> into the muck. Before the break, Maria Ho put on a bluffing clinic and got Nick Wright to fold a straight. Now she and Daniel Negreanu are sharing the chip lead with the blinds at 1,500, 2,500. Then it's hard to measure who so the greatest cash game players are because there's a little buddy. Well, I'm, I'm not even talking about. I'm not even. I'm talking about your genre, which is tournaments, and I'm saying the best tournament poker players in the world, right today are generally playing, I'm going to make it 6,000, in the high roller events. Like this one. Hmm? I said like this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to see better players generally in a 25K buy-in than you are in a $300 buy-in. I don't think that's controversial. That's right. I think it's pretty black and white. So have you played Bilzerian, Phil, Dan? Uh, yeah, once or twice. Did I win? You win. No. Oh, no, no. no. You win. Oh, sorry. No. no. Sorry. I didn't see his hand. I didn't see. I, and sorry. I, I have cards. I apologize. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just sorry. glad Daniel didn't muck his hand. My bad, guys. No, I do get mad at the moving the goalposts, and they're like, well, whoever wins the most money, then I just went out and won all this money. And they're like, oh, yeah, but now you're not playing against the best to win the money. Like, I mean, Daniel is like such a politician. He changes the goalposts and changes and changes and changes. And I think I you're going to be up against that forever, Phil. Yep, agree. Five. I didn't expect it's it from it's Daniel. It's lonely at the top, isn't it? Didn't expect it from Daniel, though. Yeah. You want me to tell you I think you're better than Phil Ivey at something? What? What What do I think you're better than, than Phil Ivey at? Like, name it. I don't know. What, what am I supposed to give you here? I'm not better. Bingo. Promoting yourself. I'm not better there. at Texas Hold'em than Phil Ivey? No, you're not better at Texas Hold'em than Phil Ivey. You want to bet on what, what he would say? Well, I, already, he would, he already, he I already know what Phil would say. He's like, oh, no, Phil Helm's the best because yeah, he doesn't care. Like you do, right? right? He doesn't care. He's not, well, he's not going to say something like to, you know, boost his ego or whatever. He doesn't give a what people think really in that regard. So his opinion doesn't matter. Well, his opinion on who's better, he's going to say you because he wants action. Okay, he's a hustler, old school. You hit you know it. What I'm saying? You hit it. Ivy, yeah. Ivy, right. Ivy, right. Ivy, Ivy knows him better at, at Hold'em right. than he is, and he knows he's better at almost every other game than me. We, we kind of, we discussed this. We know you, this. You're not better at Phil Ivy at like literally Anything, except promoting yourself. That's it. That's all you got. Phil Ivey would mash you in every other format, and I'll bet my money on it. And there's Phil Ivey. There's other examples. Not even Phil Ivey. Ouch. Okay, heights and weights, guys. Heights and weights. <laughs> Get ready for this. I need a microphone. Oh, I have a microphone. Can we talk about crypto punks again? <laughs> Are you kidding? This is the stuff that's gonna make like. 
Your results in high rollers, 25K no limit above. You have zero firsts, zero seconds, zero thirds. How much That's money not exactly... you lied about me and never corrected Wait, it. is that true or not? Is that a fact or not? Correct. Have you had a third or better? Correct. He's pretty full right. So what do, you want to, what do you want to say? You can't beat the high rollers if you never beat As them. He's like, I'm up a million and a half on high rollers. Congrats on that. Oh, but like, wow. so why, why do you make, why do you, why do you leave I just said a fact. Because I'm yeah. saying a fact. You've yeah, never come first, second. Because you're a politician. You just want to spin it. Because, uh, you, uh, is it true? Have you ever come first, second, or third in a 25K no limit or above? Uh, no, but I'm up 1.6 no. million. No, but hold on. The fact is, no. So you've never won. You've never come second. You've never come third. But you think that you're the greatest at that format that, that other people have won 30, 40 million in. I didn't say it was the greatest that format, Daniel. Nick, how do you feel about your seat right now? I love it. Um, I didn't say on, it was but the greatest. I, hold on, but you're, that but format, you're plus Daniel. money. That bet you want to make, Daniel. Yeah, yeah. So then I got a more question. More I have a question for you. Daniel tweeted you're, out you're that I was losing money. Gambler. Did you call me or no? No. 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 Good fault. Daniel tweeted. <laughs> I don't know. You're I'm the sharp gambler. I know you're polarizer, but I was. You're Daniel's so intense in this conversation. Like, if you really pull even if you get even if you trap him, he'll talk his way out of it. Since you're since you're, I folded second nuts. Um, since. Why are you, because your bet with him is not he has to finish top three in a single tournament. It's that he has to show a profit. Yeah. And if Lifetime, he's shown a million and a half profit in those Because he's played seven of them. You know what I mean? It's like, and he played two of them, which are $1 million buy-ins. So if you look at his ROI, he's up like one buy-in. Actually, he's down. His ROI is negative, guaranteed. But he did cash in, in a $1 million buy-in How could his ROI be negative? Easily, because if you play a $1 million buy-in, right? And you cash for 2.6. Yeah. That's you know one and a half buy-ins you yeah. want, right? So now you're up a million. And a half. Oh, and then you're. But saying, then you play 25k's and 50k's and all that kind of stuff, okay. and you lose 10 of those. Now all of a sudden, I get you know your ROI would be minus eight and a half buy-ins, but your but your money would look I good. I got good, you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not yeah, yeah. looking good. You're saying it was queen ten against ace massive. queen yeah, yeah. three, yeah. but it does turn so into backdoor clubs and a gutter on the flop. As Maria see that. He has to play 50 high rollers. He says. In, 7, in how much time? Now 7, he gets as much time posts. as he wants. So he can, if he, he could play 25 Ks, and if he gets stuck, me. start playing 50. Well, no, hasn't it connected. But he can't just yeah. Yeah. It has to be. It's sticky, right? Yeah, that wouldn't be fair. Save your million dollars. Bing the ace. It's not 300, 400 players. Play them up front. It's double gutter with the second second nut flush draw for Maria now. Oh, okay. I thought the first would be well over a million. So now you've got. Okay, so I got it. Okay, got it. We have yeah. to get legal sports betting on poker I grudge did. matches. It would just be. Would, I really wanted oh to see God. the. I wanted to see these guys play a lot of hands. I think the work that you just did. Well, that would really close. underrated. If like, there's any state regulators listening, you need to legalize this stuff. You need to be able to bet on the grudge match. Eighteen and a half thousand chip you know, I bet on the turn. Smart Promptly called by Helmuth and Maria. The state hits the club. State decision. Even yeah, we are a republic. Do, even if they do, the we are a republic. States still the re yeah. do it. The reason that we have sports betting now is because the states, the, because the federal courts decided the states have the rights to offer it if they want to, even if the feds don't want to let them. Right. So, so at least we, we got to take that. the good Wait with the for bad. it. Why is California taking so long? The tribes. Any state. That's that what I heard. Yeah, the Indian. Yeah, the Indian. Yeah, the state state has a big tribal gaming represent. One hundred percent, you are going to bluff off the money to me. How do you get away with it? Maria's braced for impact. The, the article that the number one She's easiest player on the planet to trap. One sports betting location for some month. Got away with this shit against me the whole was, time we filmed. And now you're beating my hands on top of it. So, who are you going to give me on the river? Like a 50? Just before the break, chip leader Maria Ho sent Phil Helmuth into orbit by rivering a flush against him. Let's see how the poker brat responds at the 1,500, 3,000 level. Daniel, I hear Phil kind of talking to himself. I think he got under his skin a little bit. Me? Well, no. Yeah. No, well, this guy. No, this guy. This guy. I got it going. I got it going. But, that, That's but his then job also. Right here. <laughs> Marie also just rivered a flush on him and that. Didn't yeah. help. With Queen well, 10? Is I it mean, Queen 10? I know she, she had the double belly button double. paired you, with you the flush draw. She, 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 she had the ruthless hand. She had the ruthless hand. She had the easiest hand. player on the were, planet to You know what? This is sexism because if, if the last time somebody put a beat on you with Queen 10 like that, you you called him the biggest idiot on earth and it was like a, <laughs> yeah, a two hour I mean, diet. No, you guys wanted to talk over me. Adam Levin. No, you guys. This is the one group that talked right over my rant. Luckily, it won't be shown. I won't be embarrassed. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. No one's talked over my rant in the last, like, 30 shows I've shot. 24. What, they haven't shown it? No, I mean, I was ranting, but everybody was had a separate discussion. It's great. Oh, I got you. It's hard to se separate the audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll pull it out of your mic. I'm sure it'll get it. Negranu. I'm sure it's probably waiting to be speedy. I'm sure they have all going. He's got the real deal, though. It's a 
big ask. Another 17,000. Upside is she'd be in position. So she'll take a look at a flop, and we've got 54,000 in the middle. Nines are an overpair on the eight high two club board. Seabed. Maria makes the call, and King or a 10 would be good for Daniel. And there it is on cue. Maria does pick up a gut shot straight draw, but she's no longer in the lead. Daniel concerned about the possibility that Maria was slow playing bigger than tens. Ops to check, play pot control. And Maria looked a little apprehensive, but checks back and now running top two for Daniel, who can rest very easy that his hand is best. Will he seek into a hundred and fourteen thousand? Sixty-eight K. This is over half of Daniel's remaining stack and represents roughly half of what Maria's got. What sort of hands would be in Daniel's range here to three bet out of the small? Fire the 30 on the flop, check the turn, and then come out swinging on the river that two nines can beat. Mm, you can just feel the uncertainty here for Maria, and you can't blame her. She's dipped into her time banks well beyond the 30-second shot clock. Had to be a tough. It felt like nines or jacks. Wow. Yeah. Nines at first, and then one of those two. Yeah. I don't know, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> nice hand, Daniel. Oh. Thanks. Top shelf read from Daniel, and top shelf John, fold from Maria. Like when, uh, what was it like for you when uh, DraftKings went public? Were you just sweating and checking every second on your phone? Or he's got a new nickname. Oh, by the way, thank you. I've been making money on you. I really appreciate it. I love to hear it. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was, uh, I mean, it, that was, it was a crazy time because like we announced the oh SPAC, and like SPACs Five. weren't like a thing three, three. when yeah. we announced it. Yeah. So like we announced that around Christmas time and we had locked in the date in April Christmas and then day. COVID started to get really bad in February and then into March and all the sports got canceled. And oh my God. It was just kind of like nobody yeah, knew. Nice bet, Daniel. Nobody knew what What's was going to happen. That's a nice bet. And then, mm, maybe I should have bet a little less. The markets, I mean, the markets went off the oh, rails. don't you say those Martin. words and help me sleep better tonight. <laughs> I'll say this. I either got lucky on the river or I got unlucky on the river. One of those two things. Ooh, you were going for like a Either one of those two things. I either got lucky on the river or I got unlucky on the river. Yeah. If that makes okay. sense. <laughs> no, I always check. I'm always going to check the turn with my hand as played and then yeah. the river. If you had it, then yeah. It's a bad Lucky river. river. I was, way. I'm almost gonna, yeah, I'm gonna call most rivers, except for. Yeah. Let's see if the nines work out any better for Maria on this occasion. It's gonna be a tall order considering that she's up yeah, against John, so two guys, tens so instead of king ten. Christmas. COVID comes, you must have thought the valuation's gonna be like 25%. Daniel chose to just flat I, I it and Maria I, hits you know, the nine. People would always ask me, like, my, my crystal ball's broken. Like, what, what's the stock market gonna value a company at? Well, I mean, like who, but who especially knows? DraftKings in the middle of the pandemic, the number should, you, you would not expect the valuation to go by, way down. By April, people would come to their senses and realize we were going to spend our, our lives for a considerable amount of time at home, online, and then it was just like, 
Zoom, Netflix, on oh, online, yes. online gambling, all that League stuff. League of Legends, DFS. It was ping pong. Russian, was Russian oh, ping pong. Oh, What's the game you were talking about? Started being on bean bag in the board. ESPN. Yeah, corn. Yeah. 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 It was like ESPN eight. The Ocho like had yeah. come back for COVID. It's just like oh, let's let's check in on some e racing and. That's right. So then you just decided to just leave DraftKings after. Oh, I'm still well, still there. Yeah. And that card no, was a good card for me too. They got, they so got to move me out with a truck. Good. We call him. It was a couple tens. John? Couple tens. I had. Yeah, I had a set, so I had to bet big. I nine. It's liquid John now. Gets See, away from liquid, the two tens. <laughs> Not willing to give back those hobucks that he picked up a pot of go. And so we'll head to a break. And as we do, let's check in on the stack sizes. Brought to you by GG Poker. Negranu way at the top. Maria restoring some order. Trailing behind him, and the gaps broad between herself and Nick Wright. Down to Helmuth, Agriar, Buffer, and Jennings in that order with the blinds going up when we return. Stay close. Plenty more Poker After Dark Sit and Go action still to come. Well, our Sit and Go has featured a wealth of humorous bickering between Nekranu and Helmuth. Veronica caught up with Kid Poker to get his thoughts on the brat. So Phil Helmuth at the table. He is uh, known for freaking out, having uh, some tilt. You gonna try to get him to tilt today? Well, he's, Phil Helmuth is definitely my favorite player to play against in the entire world. And uh, you just hope that by the end of the you know thing that you get at least one they, right? Because I knew I made it in <laughs> poker when he called me a they. He's like, they, they just don't understand. And I was like, I'm they, I'm part of they, I made it. <laughs> you are they, so what's the easiest way to make Phil Helmuth tilt? Well, there are some ways you can go real deep and cut, but he doesn't like that. Like when I make the joke about coaches and stuff, he, he's, I don't know, he takes that very, very personal. Um, or questioning his legacy or anything like that. Oh, <laughs> Which is yeah. the only thing Twitter ever does. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and Jamie Horwitz has been around forever. And, and I think you know he's my- He's a baller. I think you know my boss now, uh, Charlie Dixon. Yeah. He was, he was part of the whole poker crew when ESPN was running the World Series. And, yeah. Yeah, Jamie Horitz was a huge supporter of poker, and this show, Poker After Dark, was on NBC six days a week because of him. I mean, not just because of him, because of Daniel's glowing personality. What happened now? <laughs> what I do now? No, he gave you a compliment. Oh, okay. He said it's one of the reasons this show was successful. Honestly, the number one reason that Poker After Dark was successful was watching oh, I'm sorry. play props. That was my favorite part of Poker After Dark. They, they, they canceled prop 14. How much were 14,000? When you guys blind versus the blind in the limp pot before they made you stop on high stakes poker. Most you players open ended. Mm -hmm. And how many How much were the up? props for? Like at the end of the night, what was the swing range? You could win probably 200. Okay. 300, thousand. Something so as like much as you could win or lose in the game, the props. Sometimes the props were bigger. Like it depends. So the way the props Maria work is defends the 4K lead for an extra 10 triples. as the board pairs you on. You win the another one. They go for triples. triples. So whatever it is, like you could like there was one prop I remember that I had because I was silly. If I would have won, this if, it came, if the flop came five 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 and I was on for triples, it's a million my way. <laughs> it was a stupid idea. Tell me should do straight again. I'm sorry, I fell off. Diversified, but I had seven props and five of them had a five in it. So what five 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 hits, you hit all your props, and yeah. it's just Appreciate madness. It. Yeah. Doing the math. Maria taking initiative. Gabe hated him. Leads <laughs> out for fourteen <laughs> thousand with no, seven people high. Like, people were more worried about the props. props when I get you off. And there was actually Phil Ivey. Very smart. He would actually play poker hands different. Just based on the props. Give me the stack. Tricky. It's, called, it's, called, it's called a change up. Yeah. <laughs> Say, so you're saying there's a puncher's, puncher's chance. I'm saying there's a puncher's chance, Daniel. Thank you so puncher's much. Puncher's chance bourbon. Bruce Buffer. Now, do I have to Bust send you a buffer. check? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this hand is sponsored by Daniel Puncher's Phil's chance bourbon. Daniel Phil's going to ask me for a check if he <laughs> says that. If somebody goes busting this hand, I'm the one that needs at least a free case of puncher's chance. <laughs> No problem. If for somebody drafting. goes bust and they this, if this hands on TV, I, I need some punters hey, for the Derby, control. especially Saturday Beat night. Beat him in the pot. UFC Saturday right. night. Oh, okay. then, yeah. Wow, double, we got a double. I'm just a wild and well, crazy well, guy. No, this is being aired and <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but if they had probably a, a UFC that Saturday night too. Trust me, if I had bottles, I would have. I had to fly. I would have brought you all a bottle. Yeah. I'm curious to try this thing now because, like I said, I've had bad experience. With, I don't like whiskey. You're not gonna have bad experience here. Did you get my text? Do okay. I still have your same I'll number? Check. Maria. Can't love always having Helmuth 
sticking around in these pots I against her. Let me check. Especially when he's in position. Here. My number's the same. If you have mine, just throw me an let me address, see. please. Check. Yo. So see if you got the yo. She checks middle pair. I sent you a yo. To it. Just to make sure it's you. She check calls 8,000 on the I think phone. I sent you, I'll send you back a picture of the bottle. We haven't made in France. They're Six. beautiful bottles. Yeah. Definitely curious now. My partners were behind the marketing of uh, Sammy Hagar's Cabo Wabo Tequila, Campari, and Skinny Girl. Have you ever heard of Skinny Girl? The wine? Uh, the wine, yeah. I guess Welcome I've got a great partner team in this thing. Wow. Thanks, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Let's see. If you missed the flop, you would have won 100% fired. But now you check. Oh, all. Daniel, I want to get you. You were on my podcast many years Very ago. Quickly. I want to get you and Phil back on sometime. I mean, I'm going to have you on and him, but at different times. Anytime. I'm afraid if you get on there together, it's going to be. <laughs> you won't get many questions in. That's <laughs> Both players check the turn, and Maria's Actually, riverbed it takes be really it. Good. Poor Nick Film. should have just checked right back to you. You always check when you hit this with me. Thanks to Maria's hold over Phil, she is in contention once again for the chip lead while Helmuth sits in fourth. We still have seven players. We'll be back in a moment. Poker After Dark is brought to you by Roman. Simple, straightforward, the way healthcare should be. Visit GetRoman.com to learn more. Manscaped. Don't gamble with your grooming tools. Visit Manscaped.com today for the best in men's grooming and Poker Go. Get in the game at PokerGo.com. I heard Shane Sixby got the, quite made, the wine collection. Is he made an eagle we were, today on our we, last we hole. We were golfing with Shane this morning, actually. Yep. He made an eagle today on the last hole. I'm wow. glad we, play, we played an emergency 13th hole, and, and yeah, Shane got me unmarried. decided to make an eagle. It's really hard to make an eagle. It is. It is. When you're Shane, it's actually not that hard. When you're okay. Shane, you can just hit it 330 like in the middle, and then he's hit a, a two iron up the hill, 260 yards. And he's like a what, plus? Splash the book. Plus four? Plus four. Oh my god, a plus four. Yeah. Are you a golfer too? You played golf in Notre Dame. Yeah, you yeah. played US Mid Ams. You guys like, I golf with Chuck Liddell. The very oh. first hole I played with Chuck Liddell. Ooh, what's he this thing He hit his like? first shot, his first drive. He hit it. I've never seen one do this. It was a total of negative 40 yards. <laughs> He hit it straight into a tree, and it bounced back backwards <laughs> all the way. Happy so golfer style. You can see that, right? I mean, it was like, I don't know. I, don't know. I was expecting that story to go. I don't, know. I don't, I don't think there. so. No, he you hit it. You have to go back and play? He yeah. Play you mean in like if, you, you, in a re, in if you find it in yeah. bounds, yeah. you have to play. If you find it in bounds, you have to Even play. Even poker-related action. Yeah. You still have to play. Maria defended her big and has outflopped the ace queen of Daniel. I felt like when you were talking about Chuck Liddell driving, you were going a different direction. I was expecting this 400-yard. Yeah, me too. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. you said first shot of the round. His caddy was wearing high heels. <laughs> Which was a mistake. Was it a he or a she? Was it Bally High? No, it's sounds it? like Bally High. 2021, right? <laughs> sounds it like was Bally a day. High. Yeah. <laughs> Maria calls and promptly hits top two, but that Chuck card gives people. Daniel yep. a gut shot. He helped me. I did some. I did the couple of UFC shows this week and last week. Oh, you did? Yeah. And I called him for picks because I didn't oh, want to pretend cool. I was a UFC specialist. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Yeah, there's a lot of eyeballs. In fact, we're going to shoot a we're going to shoot a uh, show. Bruce will uh, will invite you. Um, uh, I'm going to make him captain, and it'll be a UFC. It'll be like Helmuth's home game, or like Fox get? Sports Helmuth's home game. Small stakes stuff. I mean, you going to film it here or in LA? Vegas. Let me know. It we'll on invite much. you. Can you maybe you can bring a fighter or some somebody else? Just at, I, I, let me know, and I'll check my schedule because it's, yeah, yeah. it's all about that. Obviously, you're in. But no, but contact contact me. I, I, yeah, yeah, I'll let absolutely. you know. We don't have a date yet. Sometime late in June. Um, supposedly Vegas is going to be open. They're talking about Seven the McGregor seven? fight July 10th, the sellout team. Nice work out of Maria here as she so checked, slipping it to Can't Daniel. Be. The show this Saturday, we sold out 15,000 seats in less than 22 minutes. Wow. Off his stack. I can't race. wait for a month from now when five we can five sell five out five all the seats. Is it? What is there a Let's date set? Mid May, I think, is when all the restrictions are supposed to be. Next time on Poker After Dark. You changed every card that's going to come out now. Everything that happens is your fault. The bust outs begin. All in.
I'll take a flop with Phil. I can't get away from this. I'm all in. As the money bubble looms. It's the Maria show. It's just the Maria show now. Always. And the pots get gigantic. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. What just happened? All you can eat.